like like right now, I'm studying the Sabbath, and I'm trying I'm I'm trying my best to just let the Sabbath the the understanding of what because I've heard people tell me yeah Sabbath why did the Lord told us to keep it holy we need to you know go into that you know why are we refusing He told us to remember the Sabbath and keep it holy the only one that everybody's forgetting. I was like, man, that sounds good, but I have got to get a full understanding. I'm not just going to start doing this because there's verses that says, you know, one wants to esteem another day above another, and we should esteem all days alike or some other esteem of days alike. Don't judge anyone for, you know, for yeah, that. Sure. Yeah. So I'm just like, you know, man's not made for the Sabbath. The Sabbath's made for the man. All these verses, I have to put these together. You know, it's exegesis, and that takes some time, some prayer, some process, and, and people just want to say that studying is just super easy. And it's like, it's simple, but you you do a lot of work to come back to the simple answer. That's how I've seen it, that a fool can understand because he studied so much, and he comes back and says, oh, what, what does this verb mean? That was it. That's the whole, you know what I mean? It's it's. It's a deep study, and then you come back, and it's such a simple answer that you come back to. But like I said, man, exegesis. It's yeah. It's Three things thing. regarding that. I should yeah. say something about it. Oh, you go ahead, when, you, when you when you go study on. anything, you always got to ask the Lord first, because yes. you could easily just go jump on Google and find yourself down a rabbit hole, getting this doctrine and that doctrine. It's very easy yeah. to do that. You, you have to petition the stuff. Lord first. I know. I'm back too. They just go. That's how it goes. It. That's how it goes. Another thing, even just regarding the Sabbath thing, I know you you probably had this as you're studying. You know, that was something for Israel. This was a something that Israel had to do as remembrance. This is something that the Lord gave Israel specifically. Yep. There's that. And the fact that, you know, in Jesus that we have rest. We have eternal rest through the Lord. That's simple. I got rest daily. Even if I was able to take one day to the Lord, I have continuous days. How am I promised that Sabbath that I get a rest? Let me rest now. Let me rest in the Lord now. Let me not worry about tomorrow. Let me worry about today. Let me serve the Lord now in the fullness that I have now. Let me partake of his word here. I ain't got to wait till Saturday, Friday evening, to Saturday evening. I ain't got to worry about that. He wants to partake of him daily. That's the thing. Yeah. It's like even, even Christians, you know, oh. You know, let me wait till Sunday. I'll get right at the Lord. You can go to Sunday right. and then you're going to starve all week. You ain't going to spend time with the Lord all week. Spiritually fast. Might not even, might not even show up, you know, Wednesday night, whenever the Bible study might be. Yeah. And then just come back Sunday. I'll be needing that Monday night prayer. <laughs> be like, Lord God, I, I need this. <clears throat> That's how yeah, it is. Man. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's very crazy um, because you have to think like now they're telling us that, you know, they're basically telling us. So you're telling me it's a sin to worship on Sunday that when I am worshiping God on Sunday, that I'm worshiping a sun God that I don't even know about. I have to at least I gotta at least know who the God is that I'm worshiping. I don't want to worship somebody on accident. I don't know, but that Sabbath study, that's, that's what I'm saying. But see, me, I, I'm just so analytical that it's like when it comes to, and some people will argue and say that I go too far, and maybe I do. I don't know.